first chunk it, is it? As in, no, not not for this film. Time. I mean, for yeah, for this yeah, film, this yeah. is my first sort of junket experience. Mm. It's my second junket. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, so, Stacey, it's a film that's generated so many column inches um, so far. When you read the script, when uh, you knew who the director was involved, I mean, you must have guessed it was going to be provocative, and we're going to be talking about it. Is that right? No. <laughs> yeah, of course. And it's you know that's I think that's what's great about Lars is that he creates a lot of debate. He creates a lot of interest from a lot of people around the world. Um, so to have the opportunity to actually work with him and to work on something that I thought was absolutely mental and crazy and really interesting and controversial, it's, it's a gift. Uh, I mean, obviously it involves a lot of sex. I mean, did was there a moment where you thought, actually, I don't want to do this. It's, it's not the way I want my career to go. No, because I didn't think it in those terms. Um, I'd read the script before. We talked about the nudity and the, and the sex scene, so everything was pretty set amongst, you know, I, I had, didn't have any apprehension in those terms. And then for my career-wise, I think it's just important for people to actually realise, well, okay, yes, there is a lot of nudity, but it's also a film, and as an actress... I willingly went into this film not because of the sex and not to get naked. I can, you know, do that at home. <laughs> um, um, but it's it's a choice as an actress, and, and I think it's very important to be strong and take roles that are difficult. Uh, I mean, I mean, are you annoyed that the focus has been on the sex then? Because I mean, uh, as you said, it, there's a film attached to it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, why why is sex so controversial? Do you think? I think that's a good question. Um, well, because that's what kind of people say, what, what, sex on screen? And they kind of get afraid, they get scared. And it's sort of an attack as well. It's like, oh, well, obviously, you know, Lars is a very provocative director, so he's only going to provoke. It's like, well, no, he has a lot of different layers. Yes, he has a notion of provocation in his films, but there's so much more. Um, and then I think, you know, I just, for me, I knew what the film was from the start. So I just, it was funny to actually see the different sort of stages of reactions and press around it. So suddenly it's changing. It's like, oh, but it's an amazing film and it's two hours long and it has digressions and a story. It's like, yes. I mean, I mean, how <laughs> how has it differed around the world? Is it? I'm guessing in Scandinavia, that, are they more accepting, or in France or the continent? Are we more prudish here? Have you even dealt with the are. states yet? I haven't even dealt with the states, <laughs> so we'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. Um, I I think people have been quite surprised about it, which which in a good way. Um, but I don't really follow press, so I don't really know. Very wise move, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stick, stick okay, with that. I'll do that. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, obviously, we've talked about the sex, but I mean, yeah. it's not just all you on screen. You have mm. this wonderful thing called a porn double, which mm. I think is Great. a first. <laughs> uh, I mean, do, do you meet your porn double? I mean, how does that work? Um, you Well, they cast a porn double that's sort of relatively the same size as you, um, so that it sort of matches. And and then I just met her really on set when we were kind of switched, and then that was it. And then, what else are you going to do? Have coffee? I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't got one myself either. So <laughs> this should. is a whole I new think, thing. I think it's a business people <laughs> should look into. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a very explicit film, but yeah. it's, it's not sexy. Um, no. I doubt very many people will go there and get aroused by it. It's no not. One will. It's not pornography. Well, I mean, I'm sure there will be some people, yeah. but there's always someone. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I, I mean. Is that one of the key things to say, that it deals with sex in a, in a kind of explicit but not sexy way? Yeah, it's definitely not a sexy film. It's very explicit, but it's also just very honest. You know, sometimes sex is just quite ugly and quite honest, and, and there's no music behind it, and it's just what it is. And it's, a, you know, not a lot of films do that anymore. You had Booze of Colour who did it, and, and, and to actually see what sex is on screen is very rare. So I think that's important also. Just no, it's but not the romantic yeah, one that you Yeah, it's not the Hollywood with. sex. It's not the Hollywood sex, yeah. Um, it, it, it deals with sex addiction. I mean, uh, lots of films deal with sort of drug addiction and alcohol addiction. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm guessing more people have sex in the world than take drugs. So I mean, wh why, why are I we... So. Well, I hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> why, why are we not dealing with sex addiction in, in this adult way? If it, if it is, it's always done in a kind of jokey way, isn't it? Yeah. You know, the guy who sleeps around. Yeah, well, then that's accepted. But if it's a woman, immediately she's a slut. I think because it's something, you know, a drug, you take something that's, you know, you take a drug you'll take a little pill, or you'll take alcohol, whatever. It's something from the outside that you take. I think sex addiction, because it's so ingrained in who we are, there's something that's quite scary because it's almost, we don't have a physical attachment to the addiction. We can't say, oh, 
you know, this is what I'm you know, addicted to. I mean, you have the body and all that, but it comes from your mind, and people are very scared of that. And people are scared of sexuality, point blank. So anything to do with sex is quite scary. Um, let's talk about all the... I mean, you said you don't read the papers, but you were there at that press conference when Sheila yeah. Booth walked out. I mean, <laughs> No, uh, that was my porn devil. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I, I mean, uh, talk to me about it, because obviously it's made waves around the world. He turned yeah. up to the premiere and, in a paper bag over his head. I mean, yeah. what do you make of it as, as a friend, as someone who works so closely with him? I had no idea. I mean, it was kind of... I thought he wasn't going to speak at the press conference, and he did. I was like, ooh, Shia's speaking. <laughs> and then realised he wasn't actually, you know, responding to the question. We thought, okay, well, you know what? He's just doing what he has to do, and he's in his own world, and I don't think I can explain, because I don't know. <laughs> Let, let's try and explain Lars then, because he, okay. he he's one of life's mavericks. He's provocateur. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the stuff he says, I think, is to generate headlines, to mm -hmm. talk to it about him. And uh, what's he like mm -hmm. on set? Or uh, maybe quite disagree with me completely. Quite, yeah. I mean, I, I can see why you say that, but I think he's quite the opposite. I mean, yes, he has a sense of provocation in him, and but he's also very intellectual and very he knows about everything. And and on set, he's just he lets you, you know, he kind of almost separates himself from the set. He's very quiet. Um, and he'll ride, he'll say hello, and then just sort of retreat. And and so it's completely the opposite of what people think, actually, what he would be on set, which is great. Is it a shame, you think, that he's not doing publicity for this because because all the can fury? Mm, yes and no. I think it probably would have... I mean, the film speaks for itself. So I don't think, you know, I think that's what he wanted as well because he's put everything that he's loved in the film, everything that he likes talking about. And so I think, I mean, what else was he going to say? Watch my movie? Well, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Watch the movie. <laughs> exactly. On that note. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Very nice to meet you. Thank you very much.